Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing this phone thingy. I seen Rachel Rocks. She did some of these. These are like pop sockets, but they're by 3M. Oops. By 3M. I'll put a link in the description where you can get some. But um, I seen she was making these and I thought, oh, that's cool. I would like one just for my phone and thought I'd make some for the craft show and stuff. So I did this one with glitter paint. And I'm going to resin over the top of these to make them more durable, but that might have to be another video. So for today, I'm just going to make this white one. And I'm going to use multi-surface paint. And I got some glitter paint. And I'm going to make one that's kind of pink. Because I want it to go... This is my foam case. Which is... Like hot pink glitter and gold glitter. So I'm going to make something that will go with this a little bit better. And that, so I got this white one. And I'm going to start out, and I'm going to do this paradise pink dot for my center dot. And that's with a number 10. Now I'm going to go to the number 2 and do some dots around that. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm not going to go really super fancy with this one because I haven't tried to resin them yet. And so I don't want to have tons of work into it and then end up not liking it. So I'm going to go to the number three. And I've got this princess pink color. And I'm going to do a number three row. Now number four with the same color. Okay, now I'm going to go back to that darker pink. And I'm going to a number six. Okay, now I'm going to go bigger. Let's go up to, oh, number nine. Now I'm going to do every other one. I'm using the dark. And still in the number nine, I'm going to put this true green color on here too. Now I'm going to go down to the number four, and with that true green, I'm going to dot on top of these. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the number three, and I'm going to walk dots down, at least around the pink ones. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the green ones yet. And I want it to kind of match my case. So I've got this. Ultra fine glitter paint by Deco Art. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on there too. And I think I'm going to go. With the number six. I'm just going to do a dot on both sides of this. Now I'm going to add a little bit more glitter. So to start out, I've got this neon pink 
glamour dust. And this doesn't remain this color. It it gets darker. So when you see it, don't think that's what it's going to be. Okay, I'm going to go with the number five on these big dots. And then a number four on the smaller dark purples. Now, I love this paint. I've only used it a couple of times. But you really need to have um, paint underneath it. If you just dot with it, it's kind of transparent. Or I should say more transparent than I like. Okay, and then on these green ones... I'm going to go back up to the number five. And I've got this Emerald Glamour Dust by Deco Art. Just to give it a little bit of shimmering. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to come back and resin both of these. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is either going to be a really good idea or a really bad idea. I got out my hot glue gun. And what I am going to do is I'm going to hot glue right underneath this lip. And the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to resin the top of this. And then hopefully I can just peel the hot glue off and the top will be resined and it won't run down the sides. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to do mine. Okay, I'm going to let them sit and just dry a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to work on making the resin. And I am nowhere near an expert at this. But you mix equal parts. This is art resin. As I dump things. And there's resin and then there's hardener. And you mix equal parts. Now this isn't going to take very much at all. So I'm going to only use 1 8 teaspoon. But it'll be double because you're using one eighth of each, so it'll be like a quarter of a teaspoon. Now you need to mix this for three minutes. And you want to scrape sides. And with this little, it's kind of hard to mix it, but I just kind of swish it back and forth. Okay, so, and then they say it's a good idea to let this sit for like 10 minutes. I only got a little bit in there, and it concerns me to let it sit that long, so I'm not going to let it sit that long. I'll let it sit a few minutes, though, before... And that helps so that the bubbles come to the top. And then you don't have to worry about so many bubbles in it. But I always take a torch to it, so that really helps too. So because I'm going to try and control 
where this is going. I'm going to use a brush. But I don't know how you can get it clean. So just use one that you don't care about. That you can pitch afterwards. And I'm just going to brush it right on there. And this self levels so it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you set it on a flat surface, it'll level out. And I got a little extra, so I'm just going to try and put it on in the middle because it will level out. All right, now I'm going to take a torch to this and try and get as many air bubbles out as I can. The th thing I like about this art resin kind is it doesn't burn like some of the other ones do. I think I'm pretty good. And I'm just going to let those sit and dry overnight and I will resume this tomorrow. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and I went ahead and I pulled the hot glue off and it came off fairly good. There's still some few sticky parts here that they're coming off just fine with the cotton swab. So that works really well. I think I need to put more resin on top though. In the, in the next ones I do, I'll try that. So now this one I'll show you. I use this because I got fingernails and I can't get underneath it. But this is how I did the other one. Kind of hard to see. I should have probably left the black one to show you. But that pulls right off. So that would keep it all on the surface, the resin. And I did try and put it like under the lip so it would come down the sides too. And I do have some hot glue I'm going to have to work on. But it rubs off. It's gummy and it's on plastic so it doesn't stick. You just got to take something and rub it and it comes right off. But that kept it from going all the way down the side nicely. So there's my take on doing these little foam grips. I'm trying to get at an angle so you can see the resin. See? And that's going to look so much nicer on my foam case than the one I have. So that's it for today, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.